Welcome back on this Friday. Well, there is something funny about San Francisco today. SF Sketchfest is here. The long anticipated 20th anniversary of the comedy event is kicking off today. So get ready to laugh yourself silly for about the next 15 days. Actress, writer, comedian, producer, and co founder Janet Varney is joining us this morning. First off, thanks so much for being here. Hey, Gianna, thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about how this all started 20 years ago before we get into what's happening this year? Absolutely. So when my partners, David, Owen, Cole Stratton, and I were students at SF State, we met and started doing comedy together. We were doing sketch as a group with our friend Gabriel Diani called Totally False People. And we were looking for places to perform in the Bay Area. And while the Bay Area has this very rich history of comedy, it was at the time a little hard to do sketch because here we were arriving with our costumes and our wigs and trying to do a full sketch uh, on a tiny comedy stage. Places like the Punchline and Cobbs are welcoming us in. But most of the people who were coming to the show were like, what's happening? I thought I was going to see a Jerry Seinfeld type. So we actually ended up partnering with five other groups that we had met over the course of performing together as a sketch group uh, for that kind of year we'd been around. And we rented the Shelton Theater just off Union Square and had it for a month and all performed together in the sort of calliope of sketch comedy. And um, we'll never forget Robin Williams came to a show wow. and said wonderful things. We got all this amazing coverage from the Chronicle and here we were just college kids going, will this work? Um, and it did. And we have San Francisco and the, uh, the Bay Area to thank for that. So the next year we came back, did a bit of a bigger theater, had a couple of big stars who agreed to come like the Upright Citizens Brigade and somehow Fred Willard and his group of Hollywood players came up and we've just been growing ever since but we started grassroots and uh, we are still grassroots but we have an amazing staff and again those San Francisco audiences that just keep coming back that allow us to do this. That is so cool. It's so cool to hear the history and here you are 20 years later and there is an all-star lineup talent at 13 theaters in the city, improv, live podcast, tributes and of course all the stand-up. So tell us who's coming and a little bit about what we can expect. Oh my gosh. Well, this has definitely become a festival where there's something for everyone. If you like improv, uh, we've got it for you. If you like stand up, if you like music, we've got music that isn't necessarily full fledged comedy, uh, but is more about just things that my partners and I love. There's an amazing group in the Bay Area called the Red Room Orchestra, and they're playing the music of Twin Peaks and Repo Man with special performances in between songs. Uh, we have the great Lorraine Newman, who's been with us for so, so many years of the festival. We are paying tribute to her. We have Elliot. Gould coming with the Long Goodbye 50th anniversary screening. We have the Improvised Shakespeare Company who makes up Shakespeare plays on the spot. We've got multiple shows of that. Uh, there is so much here. I can't even, I mean, I certainly can't <laughs> name it all. You can absolutely go to sfsketchfest.com for more details. But we've got David Allen Greer, wow. who has long time been a hero of mine. We've got a roast of Bruce Campbell with some of the most amazing comedians and people that he's worked with over the years. Dana Gould is going to be running that. And uh, it's just, it's, it's really exciting. And this is our opening night, as you mentioned. So uh, we're all very, very excited. We haven't been able to do the festival for the last three years. Right. So it's it, so cool to be back. And y you know, so with the pandemic, everything was put on hold, but it also brought a new feature. Some of the shows will actually be streamed this year. That's right. That's right. We have, I think, about seven shows. Again, go to the schedule for details. But if you are not able to make it to a show, you do have some options. And we're hoping to expand that in future years. But this year, we just wanted to make sure we did everything right. So we are uh, very excited and uh, happy to bring the comedy to outside of the Bay Area this time. It's going to be a really, really fun 15 days. Well, good luck with the 20th year and with opening Thank night you, tonight. Cannot wait to check all this out. And if you can't go, you can at least stream it online as well. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Tiana. Absolutely.